Hello, I'm Daniel, and today we are going to compare three of the most popular practice mutes right now. The old classic, Best Brass, the modern classic, Bremner Schmute, and the new star on the practice mute heaven, Rihano, or Rihano if you attempt the Spanish pronunciation. There will be chapters here in the timeline, so you can skip around if you don't want to watch everything. But I'll start with a brief backstory, then we'll weigh them, then I will record them side by side into this microphone to see which one is the most silent. And then lastly, I will give my pros and cons and uh, personal subjective opinions of these mutes. So you might be wondering why I have three practice mutes. Well, I bought the best brass mute maybe 20 years ago, over 20 years ago. It was kind of a trend here in uh, Stockholm. You know, it fits into your bell, you can bring it everywhere. Most of the trombone players I know bought this mute and I have used it ever since, but then maybe two, three years ago, actually before the pandemic, I started to practice more and more at home with the practice mute. And then I thought, since I'm not paying for an external practice room anymore, it might be worth spending some money on the best practice mute possible. So I was curious about the Schmute. I've heard a lot of great things about that mute, but I was convinced to buy the Rihano instead. It's the new exciting thing, you know? And I've been playing on this for about two months. But then I felt this itch, what if the Schmute is actually better? I need to compare them. So the Schmute, I've only had this for uh, a couple of days, just so you know a little bit about my relation to these Mutes. So let's start by checking out the weight, and I will just use one of these kitchen scales. It's uh, pretty accurate, I think. Okay, so the best brass Mute weighs 57 grams, which is... 0.13 pounds. That's very light. The Rihano weighs 150 grams or 0.33 pounds and the Schmute 181 grams which is 0.4 pounds. So the Schmute is the heaviest but you can't really feel any difference between these two. Next up let's do a side-by-side -side comparison. I will record the start of a classic jazz trombone solo, bonus points if you know which one, and then a short flexibility exercise. Here we go! Okay, so I've listened back to the recording and it was actually a bit hard to decide which one was the most silent, but I think the Rihano is uh, the winner here. What did you think? But the difference is so small, so I would think that there are other factors that are more important. So let's go through them one by one and we'll start with the best brass. I love that it is so light. 
I mean, all these mutes are pretty light, but it's almost like you can't feel the difference between an open uh, trombone and a trombone with the best brass mute. Also that you can keep it inside of your bell when you have it in your case. It never needs to take up any extra space in your luggage. Those are the two main factors, I think, uh, for buying the best brass. Now I'm comparing this to two of the best practice mutes on the market. And what I can feel is that the sound is a bit blurry. I noticed that when I bought the Rihano, it's easier to intonate with the sound from the Rihano. Also, I feel that the lower register gets a bit sharp. So I need to hold out the slide just a little bit more than the other two mutes for the intonation to be correct. So I would recommend if you are in need of a warm-up mute, a mute that you can use before a concert to warm up your instrument and your lips, and you're not practicing a lot at home anyway, this is the perfect mute. There are also copies of this mute on the market. One is called uh, ProTech and another Dylan, but I don't know if that is manufactured anymore. I've only seen it for the bass trombone, but from what I have heard and read online, the ProTech version is practically the same as the best brass. So if money is of no issue to you, maybe you want the original, the best brass mute from Japan. Otherwise, maybe go with the ProTech. I'll leave uh, links to both those mutes and maybe the Dylan, if I can find one in the description. When I first tried the Rihano mute, after have used the best brass mute for so long, I thought the sound was kind of plastic and uh, a little bit dead, you know? But then I realized how even it feels in the whole register and how easy it is to intonate compared to the best brass mute. It also feels uh, very sturdy. Like if you drop it, nothing will happen. I won't uh, drop it though. Once you have inserted it into your bell, it can be hard to remove it. The Schmute and the Best Brass, you can just pull the mute out. The Rihano, you need to use a special technique that I <laughs> discovered myself. If you move it from side to side, then you can pull it out. But that might be a good thing as well, because it won't uh, fall out. So if you want maybe the most silent mute on the market, something that is very even in all registers, and you don't mind a little bit, what should you say, closed sound, this is the mute for you. Now for this mute, I don't know if you heard on the recording, but there is an issue with this uh, copy. There is this vibration this buzzing noise at certain notes, especially on G's and C's. Listen to this. I have been emailing Bremner Music and they have tried to help me. Very nice and personal customer service. They had never heard of this issue, but they suspected that it could be an air leakage in this uh, ring. I tried to test it myself, but I haven't come to any conclusion. So I'll probably send this back actually, and maybe I'll get uh, a new copy. But I've tried to ignore the vibrations and focus on the other things instead for it to be more fair. So the Schmute's advantage against the other um, mutes, in my opinion, is the sound. It has this more enjoyable, open sound, almost like a very silent bucket mute, or when you move the ring of a cup mute towards the trombone bell. So it feels more alive somehow, it has more character, and I think the intonation and the evenness in the registers is excellent as well. When you play with a mute, and especially a practice mute, you get a bit of back pressure, and um, I actually didn't notice any difference between the mutes here. It's practically the same in all three mutes. So, which mute got you the most excited? Have you tried any of these? 
Do you agree? Disagree? Let me know in the comment section. Links to all the mutes in the description. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.